Hi, how would you like to have a go at building a big fish? This one's an anglerfish uh, and he's based on a, a steampunk one that I built a while ago um, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a go at trying to do a tutorial on it. I'm not going to tell you what blocks to use because I think it's totally up to you really and I have tried a few different variations and I'll actually show you those at the end of the video. Obviously you don't have to do him floating in mid-air like I have in this one. Uh, at one point I did build one with his belly in the water, uh, with the rest of him sort of out of the water. He'd also look good underwater I think, but I don't know how you'd go with the water actually flowing into his mouth, but I suppose there's probably a way to get around that. Anyway, just for the ease of doing the tutorial, I have built him up in the air. So, and I've also built him with a block that um, you know, is again, it's sort of easily defined. I'm also using the steampunk texture pack for this one. So here I'm just going 13 blocks back. I mean, you can see the front bit there that I talked over the top of, but um, yeah, so it's fairly simple there. So this is just the base of the belly. I'm not going to count out every single block as I go because it gets pretty monotonous really for everyone. Um, but I think it should be fairly easy to follow. So you're just going to go and fill in this area now. And now you're going to do the next layer. So this is the tail end here. And you're just going to come back three then just go forward to the front then you do the same on the other side and then you're just going to come in two and then go back so that's seven back and then you'll just fill in that area And we're just going to come around to the front and extend that to then two in and then two again and then you'll fill that in. So that's pretty much just the base done. Uh, and then you're just going to come out to, so this is the tail end again. It's getting a little bit dark. I always get caught by night time. I, <laughs> I just cannot help it. And then you just go back. And then you, you'll do the other side. I'm not going to show doing the other side all the time because it's totally symmetrical, this build. So it's exactly the same on either side. So now we're just going to start the base of the tail. So we'll go back seven, and then it'll be another seven, and another seven, and then six. And then a two. And then you'll just be filling that in. And now we'll just be heading towards the front and building the base of the jaw. So that's five. And then it's pretty much just twos. And 
and then you come out one. Then you'll just be filling that bit in. Now we're just going to come out another layer, just diagonally out one. And so I've just gone one forward. For the jaw. And then you just sort of follow that line around. So just more two blocks. And then come around. And now you're just working back towards his toe. So you're just following that same base and just out one. And this time you continue out a little bit further. that's 10 blocks and that's actually going to be seven I did do six this on this one but I do continue it out one more block when I do the next layer And now we go to the next course, one, two, three, four. So it's the fifth one that I actually start that one on. And just go back. And this time you're just going two over the last course. So you actually finish this line level with the last layer and you'll see here that I actually build out seven blocks instead of six. So there it is there, it's just a bit of a running change. And then we go back to the front and we start doing his lip. So you're just going to come out five. So you just over one there. And you're just sort of going around just the shape of the jaw. And then you'll just do the other side. So that's his lower jaw pretty much done. So next layer. So we're just coming out one. And then just heading back towards the tail again. So that one's fairly straightforward. It just ends the same place that the last course ended. But 
Then we just neaten up the tail area. Now this guy's actually a fairly decent size. Uh, so I reckon he'd make a really fun base actually, just for something different. Um, I've also built him in survival, so very doable. I did fall off him a couple of times while I was building him, but I am pretty clumsy like that. And so we do the next layer. So just straight on top of the last one. And just coming out three more on that one. It does vary a little bit as we go, so just keep an eye on that. And then we're just going to round the tail off a little bit there. Then we're just going to come forward one, just to give the mouth a bit of shape. So this is again directly on top of the last layer. And this one's actually nice and straightforward because it's, it just follows the previous layer. So that one's nice and easy. And then come around at the tail again. And then you're just going to place the next red block on top of the last one and just continue back. Now these ones stop short of the last layer and it does vary a little bit just because why not? And it just sort of adds a little bit of shape to the body. I've virtually got a whole school of these angler fish in this world now. <laughs> I've built him so many times, it's just ridiculous. When I built the original one, of course I don't follow any kind of a plan or it's always very random. Um, but when I wanted to make a, a tutorial, of course, I had to really think about what I was doing. And so I had to build him a second time uh, just to try and plan out how I would do the tutorial and then I had to follow that tutorial doing this one um, just so that it would be relatively easy to follow and then I wanted to do a few variations of color and a few different things so I've built more but anyway so the next layer this time we're coming in so just stepping in and one forward And here we're just sort of sealing off the top of his tail and just neatening it up. And these three blocks are just to give the mouth a bit more shape. And then you'll start the next layer. And just straight on top of the last one.
then you just put a line along the top there to close it in. This next layer we're going to put his eye in, so one, two, three, and then black and white, and then continue along. So this is just a small layer, there's one and then there's four over the eye just to give a bit of a brow. And the same on the other side obviously. And then you will do a layer behind that. So yeah, just like that. And then you're going to cut across to give his back a little more shape. And then fill that in. And then we'll cut across again and you'll see that that steps up as we get higher just to give his back that nice relatively rounded shape. We're getting really close to finishing off the main body uh, and then we'll work on doing the dorsal fin uh, and then the tail fin and then his front fins.
I thought I'd show the other side being built at this point because we're quite near the end of doing the body and hopefully it makes it a bit easier to follow. So we're just going to go across uh, and do his top lip soon. It's nice to actually see it come together. Then you're just going to put red across the front there. And then three. And then there'll be one around behind that. And we're nearly there. This is where his dorsal fin will go. And now we're going to, I don't really know actually what this part's called, but it's the bit that has the bioluminescent bulb at the end. I've used glowstone for my bulb and I've put it on the end of iron bars but you could probably use a uh, chain and maybe a lantern which would look quite good and for the steampunk version of this fish uh, I've made it look more like a chandelier so I'll show you that at the end of the video I'm not super happy with how this looks. It's not too bad though. Uh, I think a lantern would probably look a whole lot better than that, especially with chain, but I don't have them in this version, so you've just got to make do. Um, so we're going to do the fin now. And this, again, is totally up to you what colours you want to do. I've tried a few different colours. I've tried a few different blocks. I did do one um, out of slime blocks, but it didn't look that good, really. Um, and you can do it whatever shape you like. It would probably look better too if it was a little bit longer along the back of the fish. And I probably will experiment with that, I think. You could also use different tones of the same colour. A lighter green would have looked good and given this a little more depth I suppose but yeah it's all about experimenting As you get further along the back you make the uh, fin a little bit lower and I think it helps to make it look more natural. I like the black in between too, it gives it some definition.
and the dorsal fin is very nearly done. Just a few more blocks to go. And then we'll go back and have a look from a bit of a distance. It doesn't look too bad. And then we'll go to the tail. And I don't really like working with dark blocks just because it's hard to see really as you go. But I think black is good in this case and it's three wide. And I've just brought out that middle block one further. Gives it a bit more shape. The bottom of the tail is actually exactly the same as the top. You're just going to move one block and that's the one underneath right there. And then it's just a matter of alternating colours really, whatever colours you want to do. I think different textured blocks would be good too. And that's the tail done. So really all there is to go is the front fins and the teeth. And you're going to go along one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the seventh block you'll start. I've tried to make his front fins look like they're at the end of arms just because I thought it, you know, it'd be a bit more interesting looking.
So now all that's left is to give this guy some teeth. I think dripstone would look fantastic and that's probably the obvious choice. I've used um, fences and iron bars because I like the look of really fine teeth. I think they look quite menacing. And if you use a combination of the two, then they're not trying to join together and you can just cram a whole lot more in there. Anyway, so we're pretty much there. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I've tried to make it reasonably easy to follow uh, and I'd love to hear if you have a go and what you think of it. And this is how he looks when he's finished. All done. Now I have got another couple to show you just so you can see how they look with slight variations. So this is one with red fins and he's a light, it's just a bit of a lighter body colour. And then we've got a nice bright one with yellow fins. I think this one's my favourite. And the last one is my steampunk one. So he's the beginning of this whole thing. And I'm also in the process of building a much larger fish. But I'm not doing a tutorial on that one. <laughs> and this guy has more of a chandelier for his light. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye.